Greetings from everyone's channel again. I hope that everyone has a day filled with the grace of Christ. We sincerely hope you enjoy this film and follow us on YouTube so you don't miss any updates. As you watch this movie through to the end, join in on the journey. In 1917, Lucia dos Santos and her cousins Francisco and Jacinta Marto, three young Portuguese shepherd children, witnessed a series of incredible experiences that would permanently change the spiritual landscape. These young people, who resided in a little village near Fatima, claimed to have witnessed six apparition of the Virgin Mary, also known as Our Lady of Fatima. A powerful message of faith, repentance, and spiritual rebirth was given to every corner of the world through apparitions that occurred between May and October of that year. The secrets of Fatima are the three distinct revelations that Our Lady bestowed upon the children. In 1941, the first two secrets, the end of World War I, the prophecy of World War II, and Hell Visions, were revealed. However, for many years, the third secret, often considered the most mysterious, was kept a secret. It wasn't until Pope John Paul II revealed part of the secret in 2000 that the world realized the significance of the message. In light of this historic and monumental occasion, Pope Francis has now made the decision to fully disclose the third secret of Fatima, offering new insight into its significance for Christians and humanity. The core of the third secret of Fatima is the symbolic vision of devastation and spiritual intervention. In this vision, an angel appears with a flaming sword poised to unleash disaster on the entire earth. However, the sword's flames are extinguished by the dazzling light of the Virgin Mary, symbolizing her love and intercession. The vision is not finished yet. The children also saw a scary scene when bishops, priests, and lay people climbed a steep mountain toward a large crucifix. On this mountain, a group of soldiers executes a statue of the Pope illustrating the immense suffering and persecution the church would experience. This vision is not merely a future prophecy. Rather, it is a summons to spiritual awareness. It acts as a reminder of both the eternal struggle between good and evil and the vital role that religion plays in trying times. The image of the Virgin Mary extinguishing the angel's sword symbolizes hope, that heavenly love will prevail even in the most dire situations. It also emphasizes the value of prayer, particularly the recitation of the rosary, which Our Lady has long hailed as a powerful spiritual tool. The decision to reveal the full contents of the third secret was made by Pope Francis during a period of extreme uncertainty, suffering, and division in the world. Spiritual darkness, Acts of brutality, conflict, and natural disaster seem to be looming large over humanity. In the face of these challenges, the third secret emerges as a powerful call for repentance and spiritual regeneration. The secret's main takeaway is that people have abandoned God. The vision highlights the detrimental consequences of sin and the necessity of returning to morally and religiously grounded lives. The vision's depiction of the church being persecuted reflects the spiritual difficulties that many Christians face in a society that regularly questions morality and disregards Christianity. Pope Francis's revelation of the third secret emphasizes that this is not merely a historical prophecy, but also a message for the entire world today. Instead of inciting fear, the call to repentance is meant to inspire hope the vision of the Virgin Mary dousing the blazing sword demonstrates that divine kindness is always accessible to those who seek it. Repentance, prayer, and returning to God are the means by which this mercy is made available. One of the central themes of the third secret of Fatima and of all the apparitions is the effectiveness of prayer. Our Lady of Fatima has always encouraged the faithful to pray the rosary as a way to gain divine favor and spiritual protection. In the Catholic tradition, the rosary is more than just a tool for reciting prayers. 
It is a powerful spiritual tool that fosters a deeper relationship with God and the Virgin Mary. Pope Francis, like his predecessors, highlights the importance of the rosary in combating the spiritual darkness that threatens the contemporary world. The rosary serves as both a shield and a sword against the temptations of sin and evil, piercing through the doubt and despair that often plague a person's heart. Believers are inspired to consider the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ by each rosary mystery, drawing strength from his atoning work and victory over sin. The teaching of Fatima encourages Christians to combat spiritual darkness by using the rosary as a weapon. The rosary links believers to God's mercy and protection when it seems like everything is crumbling because of war, natural calamities, or other tragedies. Each Hail Mary is a plea for divine assistance, a ray of light peeking through the darkness, and a cry for mercy. Despite its vivid depiction of suffering, destruction, and persecution, the third secret of Fatima is essentially a message of hope. In addition to symbolizing the pain that the church and her followers will go through, the vision of the Pope being attacked and the victims ascending the mountain also emphasizes how suffering can lead to redemption. According to Catholic doctrine, martyrdom is a means, not an end, to eternal glory. The third secret holds that while suffering is an inevitable aspect of being human, it can be altered by trusting and believing in God. It reminds Christians that no matter how hopeless things seem in the world, God's love and mercy are always there. Even in the most dire situations, the Virgin Mary, the mother of all Christians, never stops pleading on behalf of people. Pope Francis's revelation of this secret emphasizes the importance of maintaining one's faith. Instead of fleeing persecution and adversity, Christians are commanded to embrace them as essential components of their journey to redemption. The martyrdom that is depicted in the vision is not for nothing. Rather, it is evidence of the power of faith and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Pope Francis's revelation of the third secret highlights the need of conversion. Today's world is going through a spiritual crisis, just like the globe in the vision. The secret warns of the consequences of this separation from God, showing that humanity's fate depends on its willingness to repent of its sin and find its way back to the path of righteousness. Many people have turned away from God in favor of materialism, power, and earthly pleasures as sources of fulfillment. The Virgin Mary's message at Fatima calls on everyone to convert, not just individuals. Her warnings about the dangers of sin and the need for repentance are more relevant now than ever. The spiritual darkness that currently threatens the world is a direct result of humanity's disobedience of God's commands. However, the message also contains hope. It reminds believers that they are always welcome to return to God. No matter how far someone has come, God's grace is always accessible. Through repentance and prayer, particularly the recitation of the rosary, people can return to the light of Christ. The third secret of Fatima ultimately signifies the victory of Mary's Immaculate Heart. Despite the destruction and suffering in the vision, the Virgin Mary's intercession brings about healing and hope. Her Immaculate Heart full of compassion and mercy, will prevail in the fight against evil. Like Pope John Paul II before him, Pope Francis highlights the importance of consecration to Mary's immaculate heart. By dedicating themselves to her mother's care, believers are assured protection and direction during the upcoming trials. The Virgin Mary's heart has been pierced by the sufferings of the world, but she still gives strength to those who seek her. The hope of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart provides comfort during these difficult times. Despite the challenges they face, believers can find solace in the knowledge that God's plan will ultimately prevail. The forces of evil will not get the final say, no matter how powerful they seem. The triumph of the Immaculate Heart is not just something that will occur in the future. It can begin in the hearts of believers now. Through prayer, 
repentance, and trust, everyone may contribute to this victory. The revelation of the third secret of Fatima by Pope Francis marks a watershed in church history. It conveys a message of kindness and hope while simultaneously painting a bleak image of the spiritual challenges that humanity faces. The secret not only warns of the perils of straying from God, but it also invites everyone to return to him via repentance, prayer, and faith. In these difficult times, the message of Fatima is more crucial than ever. The choices that individuals and societies make now will influence how the world develops in the years to come. Christians are reminded in the third secret that there is a real conflict between good and evil, but they are also given hope that they can overcome the darkness via the power of prayer, particularly the rosary and the Virgin Mary's intervention. The importance of conversion cannot be overstated. Pope Francis has made it clear that the time for spiritual renewal is now. The world must return to God, seek his pardon, and embrace the light of Christ. In addition to securing their own salvation, they will contribute to the triumph of good over evil and Mary's immaculate heart. Thank you for taking part in this journey. Your presence and involvement lend importance and impact to our inquiry. Until then, may you find hope and inspiration in the common stories of our human experience.